What is up, Matt Superstars? This is Mr. Peterson here bringing to you rules and models for multiplying integers. So in our very first part here, we are going to tackle the rules. So here to the right, we're given this lovely little chart here. This is going to help us with the rules for multiplying integers here. So what you notice here that the diagonal so if you make a little tic-tac-toe board here, the way you can set this up, you draw your tic-tac-toe board. And you notice that the diagonals are positives. Everything else in your board is negative. And so this is gonna help us and I will explain how this will work. So here we're given this problem. We're given a positive five times a positive three. So using the rules, we can see that a positive number here, so times another positive, so we're following the diagonal, gives us a positive number. So five times three, positive times a positive, gives us 15. So what about negative three times three? or negative five times three, sorry. So here we have a negative number, so let's go find a negative on the board. So now we're going to work across a negative times a positive is gonna give us a negative number here. So we have a negative times a positive is gonna give us negative 15. So now what about a positive times a negative? So let's go ahead and find a pos where a positive is. So we're gonna start in the top left-hand corner. And then times a negative is going to give us a negative number here. So five times negative three is gonna give us negative 15. And so what about a negative times a negative? So let's try to find where this would be at. So let's try this one. So we have a negative times a negative. So we know that's the pattern that we're looking for is going to give us a positive number. So negative 5 times negative 3 gives us a positive 15. And so if you're confused with this, what I ask you to do, pause the video right where you're at, rewind all the way back to the beginning. You need to make sure that this chart right here is filled out correctly. So once again, what you do is you draw out your tic-tac-toe board and the positives are located in the diagonals. So positive times positive equals a positive. And then everything else you're gonna fill in with negatives. And then you can begin using this chart for multiplication. So this is for multiplication. Multiply, oh wow, I spelled that completely wrong. Let's erase that. So this is for when we multiply, but it's also for when we divide. We are not using this chart. We are not using this chart. I repeat, we are not using this chart for addition or subtraction of integers. All right, Math Superstars, you are now on, are on part two. This is about how to model, model multiplying integers use the, using the counters. So here's what I want you to do. I put a stop sign here because this is right where you're gonna stop. What I'm gonna ask you to do for this part to help with a little bit of the confusion, I want you to watch this part of the video with the counters first. Don't write any notes. You're not drawing anything on your worksheet or your notes. Don't draw anything. Watch through it first to get an idea of what's happening. And then I want you to pause where it's at Rewind back to this little stop sign right here. Take out your pencil, and then you're going to go ahead and model multiplying integers. So now let's go ahead and take a look at our first problem here. So here we have negative two times negative three. So our very first step is let's figure out the words that match up with this problem here. So we have negative two. What that's gonna tell us, our negative two, that's gonna mean that we're going to take away, we're gonna take away two. In multiplication, the multiplying sign 
that's going to tell us the phrase sets of and last but not least we have our last integer here negative three so we just write negative three there so in this problem negative two times negative three it tells us that we're going to take away two multiplication means sets of negative three so this is the way that you're going to model it here so what you're going to do very first step is oops keep that up there is we need to go ahead and model the positive and the negative so we're going to model two sets of three and then two sets of negative three just remember if this is your first time watching this video you're just watching to see what's happening and then you're going to rewind and then take the notes a second time so what we did is now we modeled we model both two sets of positive three so what we can do is we can circle that oops come on let me pick a different color here so we model two sets of positive three and we also model two sets of negative three so now this problem here negative two times negative three we now need to take away two sets of negative three and we are left with our answer right here is we count them one two three four five six so our answer is positive six so now here we have example number two we have three times negative one so right now let's figure out what the words mean for this problem so here we have three so the three is going to tell us that we are going to make three and then multiplication all we're talking about here is multiplication is sets of and then our last integer here is going to be oops me a color is going oops come on back go right there there you go back to your home and then negative one tells us that we're going to make three sets of negative one so what we do is we go to model now both positive and negative so we're going to make one set and we're going to make three sets of positive one and then three sets of negative one where we start this out so if you're watching this for your first time you're watching to understand what's happening in this problem so now let's go ahead and the question says let's make three sets of negative one so here's one set here's our second set of negative one and here's our third set of negative one so since we're making three sets so let's go ahead and count how many total pieces we used one two three so our answer is negative three and you're probably wondering what do i do with the positives positives you leave alone we're not making sets with those we're not doing anything with those we're just focusing right here on making making three so we have three different groups and each group contains negative one pieces in it so total for our answer is we use negative three parts there so now we have example number three so we have negative four times a positive three so our first step is let's figure out what this problem is telling us so our negative four is telling us to take away four And then the multiplication sign means sets of and then the, our last integer there is telling us that we're going to tell us what's going to be in each set so we have positive three so now we're what's telling us is that we're going to take away four sets of positive three so let's go ahead now and model both our positives and our negatives so we're going to make four sets here 
we make four sets of positive three. So you can tell I'm trying to go through this as fast as possible here. So I'll, I'll tell you a story. Once upon a time in a land far, far away, there were a bunch of sixth graders trying to figure out multiplication models. Okay, so I modeled, I modeled four sets of positive three. So let's go ahead and model now the four sets of negative three. As they were trying to figure it out, they're watching these awesome and amazing YouTube videos that clearly explained everything that they need. And just remember, if this is your first time, you're watching this to see what I'm doing first. And then you're going to go with the notes second time to fill in your notes. So what I've done now is I've modeled four sets of negative three. So the question is telling us. Here, the problem is telling us we need to take away four sets of positive three. So let's go ahead now to create four sets of positive three. So you can see what I'm doing on the screen. I made four sets. Each one has positive three in it. And now we need to take those away. So let's go cross those out. So there's, we took away one set. Let's take away a second set. Let's take away a third set. Let's take away our fourth set. So whatever we're left with is our answer. So we are left with negative 12. You are so close to being finished math superstar. You are at modeling, multiplying integers using number lines. So our handy stop sign has told us, alerted us that what we're going to do for this part of the video is you are going to watch this video first. You're not going to take any notes first. You're not going to draw any pictures first. What I want you to do is watch through the different models first. Pay careful attention to what's going on. And then you're going to pause, rewind all the way back to this point, right here where the stop sign is, back where it's, it says number lines. And then you're going to go ahead with the pencil and take the notes appropriately. So now we're going to talk about how we can model multiplication of integers using a number line. So once again, our multiplication problem is giving us all of the information that we need. So our very first number is, this is telling us, positive three. This is telling us that we're going to face right on our number line. So we're gonna to face toward the positive numbers. And it's gonna tell us that we need to take, we're gonna take three steps. Okay, and our second integer here, positive two. This is gonna, this is telling us that each step that we take, each step is gonna be forward since it's positive. It's gonna be forward two units. Okay. And so our answer for this obviously is positive six. So this is where we need to end up on our number line. So the way we do this, if we're going to model this on our number line here, we always start at zero. It's a good place to start for us. So our first step, so we're going to face right. So we're facing toward the positives. Now we are going to go forward. Each step is going to be two units long. So there's our first step. Then we stop and it's saying it take us, we need to go three steps. So let's go a second step and stop and let's label it. And let's go our third step, stop and label it. So we should have ended up at one, two, three, four, five, six. So we end at six. So what we did was we modeled, we took three steps. Each step is going two units long. We went forward to go to positive six. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and model negative three times positive two. So in doing the rules, we know that if we did the rules, a negative times a positive gives us a negative. So this is gonna tell us that we need to end at negative six. So here's the information that 
this equation gives us here. So first, our first number here, this is telling us that we're going, since it's negative, that we're going to face left. We're going to face left and we're going to take three steps. Okay. So this is what you should be writing down in your notes the second time. So the first time you're watching this great video about how to do it, then you're going to rewind and then watch this part again, pause, write your notes, take, go through the steps carefully. It will definitely, definitely help you out. And so positive two, this is telling us that each step that we take, each step is going to be, each step is going to be forward since it's positive. is going to be two units. Okay. So here's the way this is going to work out here. So on our number line, handy in number line below, we start at zero. Oops, I'm going to get a color here. So we start at zero. So now negative three is telling us that we're facing the negative direction and we need to take three steps. And we're going to go forward two units. So what we're going to do is we're going to take, we're facing toward the negatives. So we just took our one step. So there's, there's two. So we're going to go to, we're going to do this three times. So we face left. We took that. We took each step was two units forward, but we were facing the opposite direction this time. And that ended us up at three, negative four, negative five. That ended us at the correct spot of negative six. So now let's go ahead and take a look at three times negative two. So we know by doing the rules that a positive times a negative gives us a negative. So we know that we're going to end up at negative six. But this multiplication problem is going to give us the clues here in how we can model this problem on a number line. So first of all, we're going to take a look at our first integer here is three. So this is going to tell us that we're going to face right. And that we need to take three steps. So it's telling us two things there. So we're going to face toward the positives and negative two. What this is saying that we are eat for each step that we take. Each step is going to be backwards now since it's negative two. Now we're going to go backwards. Backwards. Every step is going to be two units. Here, so this is the way it's going to look on our number line here. Switch colors. Well, let's pick a different color. Let's pick orange. Nice. So what we're going to do is we're going to start at zero. Is where we're going to start at. So we're going to face toward the positives, but this time we're going to we're going to walk backwards two units. So what we're going to do is we start at zero. We're facing. We're facing forward. Facing toward the positives. But now we're going to go backwards two steps and we stop. So we walked two step. We walked one step, but it was two units. So let's go walk at a second step. And that's two units long and our third step. And it was two units long. So here we've modeled, we faced right. So for positive three, and then each step backwards was two units and we ended at negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five. We ended at do, 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 negative six. So now for our last model that we're going to do on a number line, we need to model negative three times negative two. So what we're going to do here is that we know that if we, when we do a negative times a negative, it gives us a positive. So that equals positive six, but now we need to figure it out using our number line here right below. So our very first step is we're going to decode. 
this multiplication problem. So it tells us some useful information. First is negative three. This is gonna tell us that we're gonna face left face left and we're going to take three steps and our second integer is negative two that's telling us that each step each oops I know how to spell that's why they make erasers each step is going to be backwards since it's negative We're going to go backwards two units. And we know that by doing the multiplication rules, we need to end up at positive six. So here is the way that this works. We're going to start at zero. We're going to face left. So we're facing toward. So our little face is going to be toward the negatives, but we need to walk backwards. So what we're going to do is each step we're going to take is two units, but we're walking backwards. So let's walk backwards. So there's there's a set there's a one step that's two units long. Let's do our second step. Let's do our third step. So now, after walking backwards three times, each time we do it, it is two units long. We should have ended up at two three four, five, six. We have successfully ended at positive six.